Hi, thanks for joining me. We're going to take a look at the new rich content editor in Canvas and specifically look at adding video. So video is with this icon that looks like a play button and it has a music icon there as well. I'm going to select that. When I do, it gives me three options. I can either upload and record media that I haven't already added, or I can add media that I've already put in the course, or I can add media that I've already um, added to Canvas. So if I go here to user media, for instance, I can um, add this video that I've already put in there. Um, so, so those are two of your options, either adding something that's already in the course or adding something already in Canvas. But let's say that we haven't done that yet. So I'm going to, again, select Upload Record Media. If it's a file on my computer, I can either drag that file in here where the rocket ship is, or I can click here and then this will browse my computer and I can find the video that I would like. And if it is the right one, I'm going to hit Submit. And now I've added this other video. Now one of my other options is to record myself. So I'm going to hit record. And this way I could give any instruction or announcement or, you know, just make a more personal touch with what I'm doing. Maybe give some explanation of the lesson. And what I want to do is make sure that the mic is turned on, first of all, and you can see that's working now. And then when I'm ready to, I'm going to hit start recording. It'll give me a, a three, two, one countdown. And then I would give my announcement. Uh, when I'm done, I can hit finish. Then I can replay that, make sure that it's what I want. If it's what I want, I will hit save. If it's not what I want, I can hit start over and try again. So that's how you would add a uh, just recording of yourself. But let's say that there's a video out there that you really like. Um, maybe it's on YouTube. So what you would do is you go to the YouTube video and you're going to find the share option. When you find share, you're going to find the embed and then you have to copy this entire code. So I'm going to copy the whole code, then I'll go back and I'm just going to paste that in. And now I've added that video to my course. Now it's not permanently there because I didn't add the video file, but it will um, play the video from YouTube because I use the embed code. Now there is one other way that you can add a video from YouTube and that is um, if you just copy the web address for the YouTube video up here at the top, I can just paste that in. And when I do that, now I've added that video. But you'll see it's not quite as ideal as adding the embed code. So I'm going to save this so we can see what all the video looks like that um, we put in here. And there we go. So you can see the, the one video was still loading when we did that. So it, <laughs> I didn't give it enough time. So that's why it's not showing up there. But the, the other two were from YouTube. So one was the embed code and that looks really nice. The other one was just copy and paste in the, the website URL and that doesn't look as good. So I would definitely suggest just getting the embed code and adding that in. But you can see with the new rich content editor, there's lots of ways that you can add video. Some of them were very similar to what we had before, but being able to take any media from the course or any media that you've put into Canvas is really nice. And then being able to upload from your computer, record yourself, or use an embed code from a site like YouTube is also nice as well. So there you go. That's a quick look at adding video with the new rich content editor.